Hi, I'm Bethany Karchner with the Shimmers Education Team. I'm here with some of my favorite models to show you these beautiful Halloween masks that I made with Shimmers products and the Crafters Workshop templates. I'll meet you in my studio. The materials you're going to need to make this uh, tiger mask are a mask like this that I purchased at Hobby Lobby and it's pre-primed so it's all ready to go. You'll need uh, shimmers in coal and shimmers pearls in carrot top. You'll need a small brush in order to get into the tiny little spots that you want to paint. You will need uh, this template by the Crafters Workshop. It's actually called the Mini Zebra Template. It's a six by six. And, but when I put it on my, my mask, it just looked so much like a tiger mask and tiger stripes, so that's what I did. But you could also use this for a zebra if you would prefer. I would just probably make the stripes going up and down as opposed to kind of sideways. You'll also need some sort of adhesive, and I just use Elmer's glue on this. You will need some Krylon matte finish or any type of spray matte finish. And you will also need something to embellish with. I use crepe paper up here on the top, and I also used Martha Stewart glitter, no, I used uh, Making Memories glitter around the edges, and then also on my crepe paper. And I also sprayed my cray paper with uh, Before Dawn Vibes by Shimmers in order to give it a little bit extra sparkle. So that's what you'll need for the tiger To mask. make the peacock mask, I have chosen a couple of different Shimmers colors. I chose Emerald, Emerald Isle, Sam Rock, Papa Purple, and Burgundy. Now these three are Shimmers Pearls and this one is Shimmers. And you'll also need, again, you're going to need your small little tiny brush. You're going to need your mask. Now I picked a mask that was, not, it's, it's plastic, but it's not like a glossy plastic. It's, it's a matte. You also need your matte finish, again. And I'm going to use tacky glue on this project because I am probably going to embellish with some feathers. And I thought they might need a little bit of stronger glue. And I also have some ribbon that I'm going to use to embellish. Now, the template that I'm going to use for this one is the Crafters Workshop. It's a 12 by 12 template. I really like these little swirlies here. This one's called Bliss. I like the little swirls. I thought they kind of looked like feathers, like a peacock feather. And so that's what I'm going to be using on this mask. And of course, you'll need a pencil, which I forgot to mention with the tiger mask, but you will need a pencil. And I'm going to show you how to make the peacock mask, and then I'll show you how to make the tiger mask just kind of go through it quickly with you. But I'll do this peacock mask step by step with you. Now the first thing you're going to do after you take your mask out of its container, or its packaging, is you're going to take the... Um, you know, this thing off, whatever this would be, the holder thing. Take that off so that you can paint and it doesn't get all in the paint. You're also going to use a pencil and you're going to need an eraser, probably, unless you are a perfect, perfect person, which I'm not. Now, I, t I took my template out of its uh, packaging and I'm going to try to figure out where I want to place my swirls or my little feathers for my mask. Now, the reason why I like these Crafters Workshops templates so much is because I think that they are just the perfect, um, the, width, the width is fantastic, so that you can manipulate them, and so like I can use this on a mask and not just on a piece of paper that's flat. I also like these because um, the, the designs are so fantastic. They have done such a good job coming up with modern and exciting designs that are different. And now I want you to keep in mind when you do use a template that you don't need to use the entire thing. You don't have to, you know, use the whole thing on a page. You can use just a piece of it. Like, for example, I really like this piece right here. I think this might be really nice on my mask. So I'm going to kind of see how this fits on the mask. I think that would be very cool to do. What if I did something like this on my mask? and then have some more swirls coming around. I think that's a really good idea. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to center this template onto my mask so I have some swirls right in the center here on like the forehead of my mask. 
And I'm going to take my pencil and very lightly I'm going to trace here right around this. And it's a little tricky because the mass that I'm working on is, is three-dimensional, as you know, and this template has to kind of move for it. So it's a little bit of a tricky situation, but not too bad. And if you're not perfect, it doesn't really matter because you're going to be painting this anyway, so you can, you can fix your imperfections with the paint, most likely. So I'm going to go around, and I'm going to do this all around my mask, figure out where I want my little swirls, and then I'm going to be painting. So I will finish up this part because you don't really want to watch me do this. It's not very exciting. And then I'll get back to you when we get when I'm ready for painting. I have just finished tracing my template onto my mask, and I love how templates allow me to doodle without having a lot of art skills, and they kind of take away the whole fear of uh, you know messing up the doodles because it's already done for you. So I have done that. I think you can probably see it. Now I'm going to choose my colors. And what I'm going to do is I notice that peacocks have a lot of green. So I'm going to choose this um, Sam Rock to be my background. And then I'm going to choose, I think, this uh, beautiful Papa Purple and the Burgundy to be my swirls. So I'm going to get out my teensy tiny brushes, my smallest brushes that I have, so that I can get into all the small areas. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the swirls first and then go back and do my uh, background color. So let's start with this beautiful burgundy. And I'm going to mix it up really well so that all the glitter and all the beauty is in there, all the shimmer is in there. And just dip it in. And I'm going to now just paint. So I'm going to paint these couple of swirls. And then I will get back to you I on the finished painting step. four of my swirls. And I did that with the burgundy shimmers. Now I encountered a small hiccup in that if your brush is too filled with paint, if it's too wet, then the shimmers does not have enough time to dry before it starts to kind of slide because this is a um, it's a plastic that we're using. And so what you want to make sure to you do is do not fill up your brush too much. Because uh, you can see that it kind of happened over here. That happened there. But I'm not going to worry about that little smudge because either I will cover it up with my Sam Rock or I will just wipe it off with a baby wipe because I think it will come off pretty easily. Um, in order to make this permanent, uh, we're going to have to spray it with this Krylon Matte Finish, which is why this is one of the ingredients on this project. So now I'm going to finish up this last swirl here, and I'm going to use the uh, pop of purple for that. And I'm going to shake that up. Now this is a little bit different product. It's same, made by the same company, Shimmers Company, but this is called Pearls. And the difference between Pearls and Shimmers is that Pearls is more of a, um, it's a little bit thicker feeling, uh, very luxurious. It doesn't have as much shimmer in it. It's more like a uh, uh, pearlescent color, but they work together beautifully. Now this brush is a little bit bigger than my last one, so I might have to end up changing it, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm going to paint this. You can see that my brush is not too laden with paint now, because I learned that lesson already. I'm just going to go around and get this part done now. 